This is how quickly things can change in your life. With a touch of the finger. In my spare time, I check other artists' uh, studios, how they look and how they set up the space, uh, how big uh, is the space, uh, where it's located. And uh, yesterday, I looked back again at that artist, uh, what his name, uh, Luke Twimans. He has a really uh, huge, uh, amazing studio. He's a Belgian artist. His uh, studio looks like a gallery space. The walls are white to the point that uh, when he hung the work in progress, it looks already like it's, it is in a gallery setup. I love that. It's a really nice feeling to have that painting in progress that is not obscure or interrupted by anything else in the studio. There is no splashes on the wall or leftovers of the paint that almost get confused with the artwork, with the painting distance between clean space and the work of the painting. I love that. Look how big is this space. It's almost uh, minimalistic. The white walls, gray floor and uh, just him painting, trying to finish and complete the work. I think he truly deserves to have that kind of uh, studio. I think he worked really hard for it uh, to get to that uh, point. It's a dream of every artist to have a larger studio, be able to accommodate large scale paintings, have assistance, have a flow of inspiration. When I go to my studio, I love being there. I love uh, creating there, but I still don't have that feeling that that's the space I want to be in. I think this is, I'm still in a transition. I'm waiting for something else, maybe something better, larger, and maybe in a different location. It doesn't have to be necessary in uh, Dallas, uh, Texas. It could be maybe in the countryside, I don't know. Maybe when I get to that point where I'm not dependent on being in the big city, then maybe having a large studio in the countryside might be a solution for me. I met uh, Luke Thomas on uh, two occasions. First one was uh, in 2012 during my MA course in Manchester. He came to uh, visit and give a talk at uh, Whitworth uh, Gallery. It's like um, a gallery museum. He stopped by our graduate uh, studios and I had a chance to spend close to an hour with him talking about my paintings uh, that I had at that time. And it was a great experience, I loved it. I remember he was sweating a lot. I guess the studio was uh, really hot. The second time that I met him was in uh, Dresden, Germany, while I was there for my uh, scholarship at Dresden Academy of Arts. He was given a talk for this uh, big event, so I didn't really have a chance to approach him and say hello again. However, on both occasions, uh, I learned something interesting about him. The first thing that I liked it about him in Manchester, that even if he was uh, a big star in a contemporary art uh, setting, or he still is, he was very humble. And the second thing that I learned about him during that big event in Dresden, a museum that he was uh, giving, I learned that uh, he has a great sense of humor and also ability to convey public uh, speech or public uh, talk. By giving the talk and talking about his work, he can turn it into a moment that everybody enjoys and laugh about. Besides having that artistic talent, that's also a talent too. And that is something that I'm lacking. I don't have that ability in uh, public speaking where I can make an uh, audience uh, uh, laugh or have that pause in between the serious moments where um, I can relax the audience. But I think that that's the ability I can learn and everybody can learn. So that's uh, one of the lessons that I also uh, learned from that experience. If you haven't seen uh, Luke Twiman's uh, work, you definitely uh, should uh, check it. Uh, he has those uh, washed color uh, paintings. Uh, it looks almost like you put them in the washing machine and then wash the color out and then let, let it dry. 
He has very interesting uh, process as far as I learn. Maybe that process has changed over the years. It was uh, over 10 years uh, that I met him. However, as far as I know, he has an assistant who comes uh, to work and what he does is scan the picture, print it, then scan it again, print it, scan it again, print it, scan it again. So he gets to the point where he loses a, a lot of quality of the photograph or picture. That his uh, reference and starting point for the painting. So definitely check it out. He has a lot of uh, mysteries in his painting and also in his uh, studio and that's uh, what I like about artists, that there is always something to discover about them, whether it is uh, work that they do or just maybe studio that is very secretive, at least for the larger audience, maybe not so much for the uh, close group that he has.